And there'll be more from Floyd next week. But now it's time to find out whether Emma will be facing food heaven or food hell. Everybody here has made their minds up. Food heaven would be, of course, a big pile of blueberries. We've got Ooh. two here. Yeah. One of which could be transformed into a pie. The other one, a little compote to go with the pie with some custard. Mm. Mm. We've got a, a nice pile of lamb chops over there, which could be yeah. sort of done sort of Italian style with mozzarella, parma ham, flour, egg and bread crumbs, with a nice little ragu on the side. What do you think these lot have decided? It was 2-1 to heaven. I've been the bribing front. them. I've told them how much I love them. They're very handsome chefs. They're very talented chefs. We've already well, knew it'd work with him. That's, I've, that's booked, I've booked every night in their restaurants for the next year and a half. Well, it, well, it obviously worked because it's 6-1 to food heaven. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. Anyway. Bring uh, it on. So these guys are going to make... Uh, I want you to make a custard, please, Galton. Oh, so we're going to use... Custard? <laughs> custard. Oh, I love... Don't you love custard, in though? Norfolk, we call uh, it custard, James. <laughs> custard. Not <laughs> custard. You see, they've started already. <laughs> It's all started. Right, pastry. Yeah. So flour, short crust mm. pastry, flour, salt, butter. Butter? Yeah. Right. Butter. Okay. There you go. I've got yeah. hot hands, James. No, that's all right. That's all right. It? Yum. So you're going to make some custard. There you yeah. go. <laughs> Lumpy custard. Down there. Thank you very much. There you go. I love custard. So what I'm going to do now is basically we'll just take a, these little pots here, just lightly mm. butter them, and we're going to then use our blueberries to fill and make our little pies, really. So we just basically butter these little moulds. Mm. And then what we're going to do is to make our blueberries, our blueberry filling, so he's going to just mix this all together with his fingers. The idea is light and delicate. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm doing, James, okay. light and delicate. So we've got the blueberries here. To match your sweater. Yeah, thank you very <laughs> Good much. Good girl. Good call, <laughs> yeah. good call. Don't you start as well. They've all been tweeting. Wait, have they, what do you see? I don't, I don't tweet. I don't understand you're it. Going to, that, you're going face, to tweet. I'm going to get you tweeting. Either. I'm going to get you tweeting. I don't understand it. But you, you James won't. Winter says that they're all tweeting about you, apparently. Really? Yeah. Ooh, Ooh good. Yeah. Like that. Hopefully nice things. Yeah, there's a load of rugby players up and down the country <laughs> that are very happy. <laughs> there you go. So, Ooh, you're just going to mix that together okay. like that. Do you want me to do anything with this custard or am I just leaving it? That. That's is there a spoon probably... or anything? Or... Can I move you over to that direction? Yeah. Shall I get a wooden spoon for the custard? Yeah, no. great, cool. It's all right. Is that... Two people to make custard. There you go. Is that sugar going in here as well, James, or not? Uh, yes, there. it is. Yeah. There you go. Could you? That goes in there. Water, can you please? A what? <laughs> water. No, you want mixed in the butter. Oh, really? Yeah. No, okay, I, this right. is how I'd really like to cook with all three of you in my kitchen. This would be great. <laughs> right, so we're all just right, going to roll this up. And, and basically use a tiny bit of flour. Now, instead of using a wooden chopping board, this is where stone or slate is very, very good. Well, not really slate, but stone or marble, because it's cold. Ooh, yum. And you need it cold, because when you're doing short crust pastry, with it being short, i.e. it's quite crumbly, you don't want to add too much flour, because it'll cause it to be even more short. So what you need to do is to keep it nice and cold. And by doing that, and hopefully, Mark will have our... Yep, <coughs> chef. All there ready. Light fingers. Yeah, I'm a terrible pastry chef. <laughs> Vanilla. <laughs> and the idea of this is you make it as thin as you possibly can, really. Now, you're supposed to be concentrating on that, Emma. I am concentrating on that while stirring the custard. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm a woman, so I'm multitasking. Can you turn it up? You oh, stand there and look very... at how you now show your tattoo. This is the perfect oh, oh, moment. <laughs> <laughs> no, <Ooh>. please don't. <laughs> There you, there you go. Thank you, thank you, Emma. Right, you can tell I'd irritate a chef because I'm sort of doing stuff, which is annoying, isn't like it, really? No. It's in the way. But I'm admiring your pastry making here. Yeah, it's pretty bad, actually, to be honest. No, it's very good. Right, so while we've got two minutes to fill, tell me about this tweet. What do you do to tweet? Well, what you do to tweet is you just you just start tweeting. You just set up start your own little tweeting. tweeting. On what? What well, you, you go you go on to Twitter and you set up your tweet account and then you tweet people like me and you tweet people like Mark and then we retweet to other Mark. followers. Mark? I mean, sorry. It's it's Gordon. 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 Oh, Gordon. 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 I mean, this Mark. You're on Twitter, aren't you? I was. I'm an ex-tweeter now. Are you an ex-tweeter? We're the worst okay. ones, the ex-tweeters. Oh, you're an ex-tweeter. Yeah. OK. Yeah. Well, anyway, yeah. you tweet an Gordon, you tweet me. Gordon! And... <laughs> Gordon! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you've got me... This is Gordon! That's my fault, sorry. <laughs> Gordon! <laughs> it's because he said it in the vet. Anyway, then you, like you start... Because you look like a girlfriend. That's what it is. Then you start tweeting. Hold on, let me just get my hand in there. Put the oh. name in my head. I anyway, you them. tweet. Look, Carry you on. You tweet and then you retweet and then we start having a little chat. So I would, might have tweeted you this morning saying, loving your sweater. I mean, I might have done something more interesting. Yeah, but there are millions but I of said... people think that they're all taking the mick out of me wearing my slipper. So, no, so... I'm sure there's loads of people tweeting saying you look gorgeous. No, they're not. They're all <laughs> taking a <the> mick. <laughs> no. My producers just said there are some, which obviously means there, there are, are about some. two. No, I'm sure there's more than that. No, and then that's how it gets going. And then we start <coughs> tweeting and we can tweet little I spend, recipe tips. I and... spend my entire life trying to get away from everybody, let alone tell everybody where I am. 
also, <laughs> they come up to you and they come up. Uh, this lovely old lady in the restaurant the other day she called me out of the kitchen. And I thought, you know, she was thinking she was going to mention Thomas Keller, the greatest chef we had on. No offense, boys. No, the greatest, chef, yeah, 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 the greatest, greatest chef we've had on the show so far. And um, <laughs> I got called out of the restaurant. I w went over there and I said, you know, is oh, everything all right? Good. And she went, yes, my dear. I just wanted to say something. I was thought she was going to mention the show. She said, you don't look as fat as you do on TV, <laughs> which is nice. And that's, that's why nice. you've now yes. started wearing a jumper. That's why. But you see, if you tweeted, she wouldn't say it to your face. She'd tweet it. No, they'd all be on it. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Meanwhile, the custard is beautiful. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that that, that's gorgeous. all right, John. You that's can't all right. That. Meanwhile, my pie is done, and we're still making oh, our pastry no. over there. Our pastry's made, James. But that's your pie. Look, nice that's little it, pie. James. Yeah. Get your own back. Get your own back. It's your show. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, so once you've got your pastry like that, then what you need to do is rest this in the fridge. Now, resting pastry is very important. Um, resting. Never make pastry by machine. Resting. Remember. I'm, I'm loving the resting bit. Yeah. You rest it, rest it first in the fridge. Always make it by hand, never by machine. It toughens up the flour. Yeah, oh I agree with you there, James. We're old school. We, we do things like that. Sorry, yeah. I was just shaking the blueberries. That's all right. You can, yeah, no, we need those. Just, do you need those? That's slightly? got a little bit of water, some sugar, and the blueberries. And the idea Ooh. of this, if you can just crush them with the back of a spoon, mm. we've got. Okay, you're making a compote. A little compote to go mm. with it. And now, with this custard. There's not a lump in that custard. Mm. I watched him sieve it. a little thin. A little thin? Yeah. But it's, yeah, but. Yeah. So this has got egg yolk. No, that's all right, I see. There you go. So you've got egg yolks. Uh, a bit of sugar, mm. um, cream and milk, and that's easy to make a custard. You can tell when it's ready, it cuts the back of the spoon like that. Mm. So I can have that for breakfast. You can, you can actually say, Galton, that is a good custard. Yes, no, no, I... Listen. Or Gordon. No, or Mark. I... <laughs> <laughs> or anybody else's name I come up with. Right, we've got our pies here. Now, the secret of these, when they're baked in the oven, I've baked these, you mm. basically make these in advance. Uh, these can go in at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, about 170, gas mark four, something like that. They want about sort of a good 20 minutes to half an hour just baking away. Because you want to make sure the base of it is cooked. And then what I do is just leave them out um, just for about sort of three or four minutes. You see, that's where we go wrong with out. me. How's you? That's beautiful, brilliant. Oh, they look, they look like little gorgeous. Beautiful. Pastry chef for a long time, you see. And what you do is oh, cool. you oh. make the filling so... You, the idea is to just get the pastry thin enough so you should be able to see the blueberries through it. No, that's stunning. Oh. Yeah. No, that one, that's perfect. It's not even oh. leaked. Eh? Yum. Can I have they three? Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, boys. Thank you. And then we lift that over. Oh, yeah. it's beautiful. And then we put some of this thick custard. Tell me something. With your short crust pastry, could you do savoury in there? You can do, yeah. 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 So However, you see, it. I would serve it in my restaurant like that. This is how Galton and Oh, yeah. Not me, not me. No. no, I don't do that. There. See? <laughs> two. Not anymore. Difference. 25 quid. <laughs> five, yeah, little 5.99. Little, little compote berries to go with it. Oh, yes. There. I'm in heaven already. Some of the little liquor there. Mm. And then, come on, you need a bigger spoon oh, for yeah. that. I've got all the crust on there. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> mm, clotted cream to go oh. with it. When do I get to eat it? Now. Great. There you go. Ooh. Cool, they're good. Yum. I'm going to eat the custard. Oh, this looks so good. I'm not going to be able to do this very elegantly. Does it matter? No, you just mm. break them up. Just mine, James's jumper. There you go. <laughs> do you want to bring the glasses over, girls? Oh. <coughs> mm. Oh. James, that is honestly. Good, because we've chosen a Susie's oh. chosen a, a Hermit's Hill Botrytis Semillon, two thousand and eight really from Marks really and Spencer's. Good. Hopefully, you're going to get some girls. I hope so. In the meantime, this oh, is six ninety nine. In the meantime, I've had enough of this jumper, and I'm going <laughs> to put it on an auction site, or you can tweet it on my can Facebook. Can I take it home? Is. Can I take it home and wear it? <laughs> you can use it as a marquee line in the size of this thing. But anyway, there you go. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> happy with that? I'm so happy. It's wonderful, isn't it? Oh, And a very great happy. thing for Sunday lunch tomorrow as well. Oh, and, and a good breakfast. hit to the, the last wine as well. Well, that's all for today on Saturday Kitchen. Thanks to Mark Sargent, Golden Blackiston, and Emma Forbes. Cheers to Susie Barry for the wine choices. And our chef's table guests, Sarah and Kate, who will actually get some in a minute. <laughs> and all of today's studio recipes are on our website. Go to bbc.co.uk forward slash Saturday Kitchen. We'll be back at the usual time at 10 o'clock next Saturday. In the meantime, I'm going to burn this jumper. I'll see you next weekend. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice. It's so lovely nice. to meet you.